Hey everybody, it's Mark. It's uh, March 10th and uh, spring is starting to arrive slowly. So it's supposed to be nice 70 degrees out. So I'm back out in the forest today. And uh, earlier I had some activity uh, about a half mile south of here. And I'm wondering if it was humans though. I was doing calls and I got a whoop back and it sounded really human. It didn't sound... Uh, uh, you know, like a giant, but, uh, so I just kind of moved south, um, just looking for a new sign today, so we're just going to kind of keep things kind of quiet for a while. in a little den here. It's been so cold that uh, I haven't been doing a lot of work and uh, my last two video segments were just uh, were just you know put out for the simple reason to put them out uh the filming wasn't that great um i might try and get that back down there today and uh, verify <clears throat> one still shot i have but uh i haven't decided yet i'm just kind of kicking back hiding monitoring of whatever was going on back there really did sound like a human thing of it is though when I came in the park there were no uh, there were no vehicles down in the lots except mine it's really muddy down in the parking lots it's all the snow melting so um, you know anything's possible it really did sound like a human though that responded back to my whoop Because to come up here, you really have to do some trekking. This isn't uh, this isn't an area where you could just you know hop and skip up here. This is an area I predominantly find tracks. Uh, the deer like to stay up here along the canyon wall, so. Today, that's where I'm going to start is uh, uh, working on track lines and seeing if I can come up with prints.
I'm getting some wood knocks again somebody's banging on a tree over there I'm not sure if it's human or them anything's possible because it's supposed to be 70 degrees today but uh, you know I've been criticized by another local group uh, for letting too many people know too much about the area um, they might be up here trying to elicit a response from from this clan but it's still hard to gauge. Like I said, uh, I usually try and time this during the week because there's no hikers around. It's very rare on a Monday morning, bright and early, that you're gonna get uh, people. over there somewhere I can hear it. Crows are barking over there too. Oh yeah, I can hear it. Something's rustling around over there pretty big too. Could, could be a deer. Let's move up there and see what happens. Look at this mess here. <laughs> Oh, something's been in there. See this, how it's all put together? Little blind. 
little hide blind. Some of it's still fresh. See, it's all been woven together. The entrance is over here. Or back here. But you can see it's like a little cage. So let's go over here. Walk around the front of it and see what we come up with. See, look at that. inside see if you come around the front something's been laying right underneath there just a little a little uh, little quick cave a little hide to hide under but you can see it's made like a little uh, canopy something can sit underneath there pretty cool You can even see the ground's torn up. Now a deer doesn't have hands to make that. So something wove all that together to make a little, uh, just a little quick blind, I guess, to sleep under. Pretty neat, actually. It's not like super impressive. It's just a quick, little quick shelter that uh, they put some branches together and made a little, little hide for the night. Right above it, up here, of course. Oh dear. I can't tell if that's running water or what, but it sounds like somebody's coming at me. Footfalls over that way. So I'm gonna move towards it and see, see what that's about. here and I can hear it. It's coming off the canyon. Move over there and see. was going on behind me has stopped. I don't hear it anymore. What I thought was people. Got my eye down there. Do a call again, real quick. Sounded like footfalls, but it's water. 
running water. A lot of animal prints in the snow, rabbits and deer and some stuff, but no, uh, no human prints. seen a whole lot. Been a while since I've been back out too. It's been so cold. Now the spring has arrived. Interesting. Oh yes, look at this. Wow. See, look, this is cool. Oh yeah. I can see symbology showing up, arches. But look at this. Look at this log, it doesn't belong here. See this arch right here? This tr little sapling has been brought around and all wedged with that big log right there. couple and right above me this tree break that's pretty high that's about 10 feet up I'm just taking a look around real quick see if I see secondaries which I do right there look at that see this though this is pretty cool here uh, wow uh, see this arch and see, so you can tell, I mean, when a tree arches because of snow, whatever, of course it'll bend. But you can see that in order to hold this young tree in its arched position, so it'll stay that way, they have taken it and wedged it 
up against this log here laid this huge tree log right here against this boulder wedge that in there wind it in around here and then you just look right over here so this area here's a huge print in the ground right there it's pretty deep then we just come around here to this boulder here see it This, thing, this this tree's been logged, wedged between all of these. And then you have this thing arched right here. Pretty pretty wild. So see obviously they like this area, it's why it's marked, so you can kinda hide, sleep right there. It's pretty common. Mark the area where you're gonna lay up for the night. This is pretty excellent right here. See, it's right underneath that boulder there. I marked it up for whatever reason. There's lots of loose rock, which they like for clacking, killing animals, hitting humans in the head with. <laughs> People say, well, so, you know, this is, this is interesting. This is the, uh, the sign that I look for. Look at this. You've got one arch between two trees to hold them down. See this right here? See these two long ones have been used to hold this. Then over here, you have just the same exact thing it's like a uh, there's you know you got three arches within just feet of each other one two three and then you know I turn around and I've got all this you just have to say to yourself what's the point Looks like they're making a little A-frame nest of some sort. Let's see if I can get around here. <clears throat> Yikes. Just had a print to go with it. it really helped me out a lot.
Something was glinting over there, catching my eye. Pretty quiet for this first segment. So. Just keep moving. Oh yes. Very nice. Very nice. Here's here's where I'm gonna finish off this segment right here. Wow, look at this. Uh. Mm. The Indians have come through here and left their mark so that everybody knows that they like to come marching through here. Let's see if I can get a better view of that. Gonna move downhill, so that'll do it for segment one. Not too uh, interesting, but uh, you know, it's warm, we're back out, so new season.